Hello my friend, I just got some awesome multimeter from Kaiwitz. Just joking my friends. This is it. Isn't it gorgeous? Actually, Kaiwitz sent it to me just to test it and I was truly amazed. I must notice that Kaiwitz said that they will not interfere with my own opinion about this product. This means that I can make honest test of the ST500Y Kaiwitz multimeter. Thanks Kaiwitz, you are the best. But let's find out if it's doing its job correctly. Time for testing.
So friends, look at the bright and beautiful display it has. Compare it to my bench uh, power supply, it looks much much better. It has good nice covers. I think it's just awesome display. Maybe it's going to drain batteries very fast, but the pleasure always has his price. So we've put this multimeter next to my bench power supply. Here is 12 volts. I don't think this is correctly, but you can see it shows 12.02. Quite good measurement. I think the voltage uh, measurements are pretty good done by this uh, tiny multimeter. It is a little bit slow when measuring, but definitely it's not a deal breaker. I'm pretty happy with this. Time to test big faults. Let's find out if it's working okay in smart mode, auto mode. Okay, this way. 228. I believe it's the correct measurement. It shows the hertz. It's supposed to be 50. Oh, it showed 50 hertz. Okay, I guess another good measurement. It shows it is AC. I guess the smart function works very well. Let's see the speed of the function. Okay, now it doesn't know what we are going to measure. Put the probe in. Another good measurement. I'm pretty happy until now. Okay, now I've put the narrow to the NCV live function. It's supposed to detect electricity. So here we have 220 volts, as I said before. Oh, let's test. Okay. Here we can see the green light and the L. It shows that there is a low proximity detecting. And as I close the multimeter, it shows high and it blinks. Actually, it shines red. So this function looks to work pretty well let's test it again yes and nice sound alarm not too loud actually yes it's working just fine another great feature of this product i'm about to fall in love with this tiny multimeter and I must say, here is a rubber protecting, it's even tinier than it looks like with the protector. Now it's time to check the continuity function in manual. You can see the multimeter shows you, and again, where to put the probes, very convenient, here is the cam. And here is the red one. Okay, let's test it. And again. And again, a little bit slow, but it's okay. Actually, all digital multimeters have this uh, a little bit luck, maybe tenth of the second. Not a big deal, of course. Another great working feature. Now, friends, I'm going to test some electronic elements in manual mode. Firstly, I'm going to test resistance. This one is very interesting, 47. Let's find out. Well, that's very good measurement actually excellent 2.2k let's find out 2.14 next to this 2.69 wow that's close 2.18 good measurements again 680 675 very good 3.3k 
I think it's not necessary to test all this, but I'm going to pick or maybe some mega ohms. Mega ohm. Let's find out if it's going to measure correctly one mega ohm. Perfect. And 300k. Good enough. We have to say that these components have a tolerance and I think it's measuring pretty well actually. Friends, I'm going to test this capacitor. It's 2200 microfarads. I'm going to test it right now. It's going to take some time to measure it. Let's put this so we can see it better. Now it's going to measure it. Just a second. It's normal to take some time. Every multimeter needs some time to measure capacitance. 2036. Yes, good enough. And now another capacitor. This time it's 220 nanofarads. This one is non-polarity capacitor. It doesn't matter how we are going to put the probes. Okay, let's find out what 215. Well, this is very good measurement again. And now friends, I'm going to measure this LED diode in manual mode so I can check if it's a working and the forward voltage sometimes we need to figure out the forward voltage to uh, figure out what the resistance should be okay 1.7 actually i know this diode has 1.75 or so forward voltage so another good measurement my friends and now we see that the led is shining a little bit this way we can check if diodes are working or they are burnt out and again my friends another good measurement of this little but powerful tool so now friends what are the pros and cons about this uh, multimeter of course it's obvious the design is awesome I really like it it's not like the old ones it has uh, lots of functionality it has smart function and uh, manual modes if you want to use that it has the true RMS capability it has uh, a nice little flashlight on the back which is a great feature it can measure NCV life electricity in the wall if you need to not a big uh, deal but actually it's a good function cons I have to say that some functions are take a little bit of time but not too much it's not a deal breaker and something that maybe it's up to you I don't like probe holes in the bottom I'm used to use old ones like they have the probe holes here on the top of the multimeter it's uh, up to you actually but in my opinion it is going to be more convenient if they were here so friends if you like this video please give it a thumb up and subscribe for my channel thank you for watching and thanks to Kaiwitz who sent me this nice tool I will use it in my workshop with pleasure see you again friends